Avanti Endpoint Manager OS provisioning allows you to capture and deploy Windows and Linux installations. Provisioning can also deploy Apple Mac OS installations. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to capture and deploy a Windows 10 image. Provisioning uses a custom boot environment to provision devices. You can load this environment through a USB or DVD drive, or you can use Pixie Network Boot. We recommend Network Boot for most provisioning scenarios. A Pixie environment lets you network boot and provision devices interactively one at a time, or you can network boot and provision groups of devices remotely from the Endpoint Manager console. Before you capture and deploy operating system images, you need to do some initial configuration, and we'll show you how to do this next. Before using provisioning, enable Pixie service support in client agent settings. Enable Pixie support in self-electing subnet services. Enable UEFI Pixie Boot. Enter preferred server credentials for the image share path. First, let's enable Pixie service support on clients, so if self-electing subnet services elects them, they can act as Pixie servers. Click Configuration, Agent Settings. Under All Agent Settings, Client Connectivity, double-click your default Client Connectivity Agent Setting. Click Self-Electing Subnet Services, Pixie, and select Enable Pixie Service. Click Save. We recommend you allow the Pixie service on all devices. Self-Electing Subnet Services will make sure it picks a good candidate for each subnet. You can schedule an agent setting update to deploy this change immediately, or you can wait a day or so for devices to automatically update their agent settings when they next run the vulnerability scanner. Second, Let's enable Pixie support and self-electing subnet services so it can find electable Pixie service devices. Click Configuration, Self-electing subnet services. On each subnet, right-click and click Enable. Once there's a name in the elected device name column, Pixie Boot support is active for that subnet. Third, if a device you're provisioning has a UEFI BIOS, which most devices released in the last several years have, You'll want to enable Provisioning's Always Pixie Boot UEFI Devices option. When network booting, the UEFI boot sequence doesn't show a Pixie Boot prompt that you can use to interactively start the Pixie Boot process. Click Provisioning, OS Provisioning. On the toolbar, click Preboot, Pixie Boot Options. Select Always Pixie Boot UEFI Devices and click Save. Fourth, Enter preferred server read and write credentials for your provisioning image share. In our example, it's on the core server under LD Logon Images. This lets devices read and write to that share during the provisioning process. Click Provisioning, Content Replication Preferred Servers. On the toolbar, click New. On the configuration page, enter your core server name, description, and read only credentials. Click Test Credentials to make sure they work. We also need to provide write credentials so we can capture images. Click Write Credentials and also provide credentials there. Test them and click Save. Now that we're done with the initial provisioning configuration, let's look at the steps for provisioning Windows 10. At the Source Image device, generically configure your Source Windows installation and sysprep it. Create a Capture Image template to capture the image. Network boot the device you're capturing, and in the provision boot environment, select your capture template. Create a deploy image template that deploys the image. Have the client you're imaging boot from the network. Once the boot environment loads, select your deploy template. We need to create the operating system image that we want to capture. This will be the base image that is deployed to other devices. On your image source device, generically configure it how you want it. If the device has an Endpoint Manager agent on it, make sure you uninstall it. This helps prevent duplicate devices appearing in the console if you deploy this image to multiple devices. When you're done, run C Windows System32 sysprep.exe. This tells Windows to rerun Windows Setup the next time it boots. We recommend you select the Enter System Out of Box Experience and Generalize options. Let sysprep shut down the device when it's done. 
Now we'll create a provisioning capture template so provisioning has the information it needs to capture the operating system image from the source device. Click Provisioning, OS Provisioning. On the toolbar, click New Template, Capture Template. Enter a template name and template description. Make sure your description specifies that this is a capture template. Use the Image Type option to select the tool that will capture the image. Landesk Image WV2 comes with Endpoint Manager and is the default. Specify the UNC path where you will store the image. There's a default images path you can use under LD Logon Images. Click the Browse button to go there and make sure your image name has a .tbi extension. Click Create. We're ready to initiate the capture. Go to your image source device and have it do a network boot so it loads the provisioning boot environment. You can enable network boot in the device's BIOS, or many devices can show a boot order override menu when you press F12 or something similar during boot. Once the boot environment loads, it will retrieve a list of templates from the core. Select your capture image template and click OK. This starts the automated image capture process. Back at the console in the OS Provisioning tool, click New Template, Deploy Template. Enter a template name and template description. Make sure your description specifies that this is a deploy template. Under Image Type, select the same image type you used to capture the image, in our case the default. Click Browse and browse for the .tbi image file you captured. Under Agent Configuration Name, Select the Endpoint Manager Agent configuration you want to install during imaging. The Unattend script contains the settings Windows Setup will use when configuring the image. Select the LD default unattend.xml file. Click Create. Right-click the deployment template you just created and click Edit. Here you can extensively customize the image and how it's deployed. We'll use the defaults and so we'll click Cancel here. Network boot the device you're deploying to. Once the provisioning boot environment loads, select your deploy image template. The captured image will be deployed and configured. If that device needs custom drivers that Windows doesn't automatically detect and install, see the hardware-independent imaging topics that show you how to create a driver library that supports unique drivers.